So I've noticed a plethora of videos for binders and binder reviews, but they're all for tiny, tiny people. So I figured I would do some product reviews for not even, I don't even want to say I'm of size, but for people who are like bigger, not that there's anything wrong with being small, people who are like bigger than like, I don't know, a 32 or a 34 A or B, you know? There's a lot of trans guys who aren't lean and hipless and without beer guts, <laughs> myself included. So I figured I would do some reviews and some sizing stuff. Um, I recently uh, ordered my second binder from Underworks. It is the 997. I did a video when I first got my 997, and boy, was I fucking bullshitting about a lot of things that were good or bad about it. Um, I'd say, although the 997 I just received seems to be different than the first one I ordered last year, um, in late September or early October, seems to be a lot different from that binder, so maybe Underworks is watching these videos and reading and seeing what we're doing. But, um, got the 997. Um, I opted out of the tri-top because I've been told by another trans guy who wasn't tiny that it was just like a nightmare for anyone who didn't have like a flat stomach, which is odd because the Underworks products are made for like bigger cis guys to like compress their man boobs, but I guess in design they did not factor in that if you are large enough to have man boobs you probably have a little bit of a belly. So, um, I would not tell anyone not to buy the tri top if that's what they have their heart set on. But if you are a rounder guy, um, it might be in your best interest to stick to a longer binder rather than a cutoff binder because, from what I hear, um, it basically just gives you like a fat roll, like, and it doesn't. It works as a sports bra if you're bigger. It doesn't have the compression that it might have for someone who's tiny. So, rather than waste money, um, maybe go with a 997. I know a lot of you are eaters. I know I'm a fucking eater. Um, so, it's not too relaxed in the stomach, but I haven't had too many problems. I mean, this might be TMI. I feel like the only time I can't wear my binder is during, like, Shark Week. And that's probably related to some of my own, like, ugh like, bottom issues, but, um, it's pretty comfy, easy to wash, slides down, I'm making it sound like some sort of weird thing, but it's not, um, I am a, I'm not gonna do a video on down, sorry, but I'm wearing one now, actually, um, I'm no tiny Tim. I am really, really top-heavy, actually. I wear anywhere from, like, a 38C to, like, a 34D. So, for me, like, I'll show you guys. It gets me pretty flat. It could get, I wouldn't say it's, like, I'd say, I'd say it does the job. Like, I'll give you guys a profile. I'd say it does the job. I'm, like, coming out of it now because I was sitting oddly. But, um, I'd say for what I paid for it and for what I'm working with without it, it does a great job. Um, I've actually, like, gotten compliments from guys about, like, my, or the workout routine they assume I have. So, I mean, it just really depends on how you wear it, how you carry yourself. Um, problems, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up is probably the first big problem that I encounter as a guy of size. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll lift up a little, but I um, have been blessed, or cursed, depending on how you look at it, with a pretty, pretty ladylike set of hips. So, um, I have a lot of roll-up. I feel like, depending on what you're wearing, it could help or hurt. Uh, the effectiveness of this binder, um, I find that when I am packing, or when I am, I just, basically when I'm packing, like, when I'm packing, like, it gets in the way of the packer, and so you have to, like, do some weird, like, shieldy thing, and you kind of look like a bro with, like, 
you binder over your stuff and like low on the sides and then that eventually if you've got hips like these just do -do 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 -do, rolls up so I feel that the most effective way to curb that is depending on how you're packing um, if you're packing with like a cock sock or a harness so maybe to stick the binder in those like depending on what you're using it's so guess and check it's all about you and like what you're working with and how comfortable you are and if you're okay with that rolling up or if you just really can't stand it i personally can't stand it because once they start to roll up they start to cut into you once they start to cut into you they start to cut off your circulation once your circulation starts to get cut off start to get dizzy you feel like you're gonna pass the fuck out so to avoid that um, I found just pulling them down real far, real tight, um, belts, belts help a lot, maybe buy a belt, like a size bigger than you normally would, or a size smaller, I don't know how that works, but, um, I usually use my belt to, like, act as kind of, like, a cinch, like a synthetic sphincter for my binder, I don't know, um, but yeah, I think that's about it, if you have any questions, I'm currently wearing a medium. Um, it goes, I think, from 37 to 39 in the 997 model. For you guys, also though, with uh, who are a little thicker around the middle, um, I've heard. I don't know anyone who's bought one, but I've heard they've released a version of the 997 that is only chest compression and leaves your lower back and your stomach free, so you can eat yourself to death if you feel like it. I guess. I mean. I don't have trouble eating in mine. It's actually helped me lose weight <laughs> because I can't. I just physically can't eat what I used to eat. Um, I don't have any real problems. Sometimes it digs in at the shoulders because I carry a chrome bag and it's an over-the-shoulder bag. So um, I was having a little bit of lower back pain, but I'm actually not even sure if that was related to the binder. I think it was maybe more my posturing. Um, so be sure to stand up straight. You will, like, naturally, just by the way you are sucked in in the front and loose in the back, you will want to hunch. You will want to hunch because it will make you look flatter, it'll feel better, you won't have this weird tension. But please, don't hunch. Just don't. Like, don't. Like, stand up straight, risk having a uniboob, save yourself the lower back pain. Stand up straight. Um, that's about it. This has probably gone on too long, but if anyone has any questions, once again, feel free to hit me up.